Hi, thanks for watching Off Screen TV. I'm John Brooker. I'm here today with Tony Horoche, the star of the new South African crime thriller, Cold Harbor. Uh, Tony, tell me about your character, Siswe. Well, uh, my character is a very young, feisty guy who's uh, very ambitious, uh, who likes to do things for himself, and um, even though sometimes it gets him into trouble, and just one of those guys, you know, who really works hard and is driven by, by passion. This is quite a different uh, a character from what um, you normally play. Um, was that part, of it very much the action hero character in this film, was that a lot of the appeal of the role, why you decided to take it? No, actually, um, the role was pitched to me by the, by the director and the writer, Kerry, and um, when, when she started doing it, when she started writing it, then she was telling me that she had uh, me in mind. So I actually picked it up for that, that, you know, just honoring the spirit that she was writing the story. Mm, lovely. So, in her head. so it was just one of those things where we were like, okay, fine. Great. Let's do okay. it. Okay. And I bought into her passion and I bought into her mind and I bought into her I mean, artistic interpretation and outlook of how she wanted this thing to play out. And that's how we got on to doing this. Mm, fantastic. Well, what she liked was to work with as a director. I know she's directed documentaries and stuff before, but this is her first real you know, feature film. Yeah, um, well there was a lot of pressure, but you know, at least with that pressure she was still on top of it and the passion was still coming out, uh, which was beautiful. That she didn't lose that, mm. that passion, that chutzpah, you know, to make sure that this, this comes out alive. Mm. Yeah. You're working with some real heavyweights in this film. I mean, um, starting off South African heavyweights, you know, Fano McKenna and uh, Dion Lotz, yeah. but then also international heavyweights in um, uh, Yunnan, yeah. who plays May in the film, the, the Chinese yeah. character. What was it like working with these icons? You know, it was beautiful, and most especially with you, I mean, comes from a background of uh, big sides, big action movies, and mm -hmm. kick, kick, shoot, and all that. <laughs> and, you know, uh, coming here, and with the little budget that we had, she didn't even lose that uh, the, 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 the passion that she had with the other movies. Mm. And in helping as well, you know, I mean, she had a way of saying, you know, punch like this, it looks like they're not oh, okay, this is how it works, this is how they do it. Because we don't need really to do these kind of things. No, no. <laughs> and it was beautiful. And with Dion as well, you know, the support was very great. Fana, Fana, we've been longing to work for a long time. With Dion, we actually were planning to do uh, a theater piece nice. together. Yeah, and um, it's just uh, Thomas Gumet as well. He's very mm -hmm. funny and he's very, like, one of the strong upcoming actors that we have in South Africa. So it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful um, ensemble. Zolani as well, I remember her coming in court, just cold when we were shooting our scenes with Zolani. But she was there, you know, and she was wonderful. And it's just great to showcase South African talent and, you know, be able to show the world that, you know, this is what we can offer, this is what mm -hmm. we can deliver. And we can also compete on all stages, you know. Mm. Stunning. It is a very action-packed film, and there's a one specific part where you are fighting with the former intercontinental world Muay Thai super middleweight champion yes. Quentin Chung. Right. That's an right. album. <laughs> <laughs> Talk me through that fight scene. Well, um, that fight scene we actually rehearsed a couple of times because I was training with the the guys from uh, the professional guys do Muay Thai, mm. and he had a coach coming from Thailand, and. You know, going through the moves because I'm more of a boxing yes, yes. background. You know, I had to in my boxing just hit I did a bit of a knee, a bit of a <laughs> kick, a bit of a, you know. And we went through that a lot. And when we were doing that, the adrenaline was so high in that. And you know, we actually doing it. And even though we padded our, the, the, I mean, we were padded everywhere. Yes. But you never you know where you're <laughs> you can't get a bit. <laughs> Uh, and those punches, you felt some of those punches coming through, and it was it was actually longer than how it cuts here. Yes, it, no, obviously, but, uh, yeah, it takes ages to shoot exactly. something like that. But to cut it, then you know, it, it just it made a yeah, very nice cut. It does. Yeah. It looks it looks very effective on the screen. Yeah. Um, you you do some of your boxing in the film as well when you're working out with Patrick. Yeah. Yes, one of the yes. characters in the film. Yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy that scene as well, getting to show your boxing prowess? Yeah, but you know, the problem is now, because his hand was hurt. Yes. <laughs> I noticed that, I noticed that. So he was only punching with one uh -huh. 
And because he didn't want to hurt this one. Yes. Could have landed it, maybe not. Could use both hands. <laughs> the skill can come out more. It still looked pretty impressive. Though. <laughs> Thank you. Um, a lot of, I mean, obviously you're a police officer in the force, so you yeah. used guns and you drive cars and all that, stuff, all that type of stuff. What kind of training did you do in, in terms of handling the weapons and driving the cars and, and that type of thing? Um, well, we, we, we had, I mean, every set has your, your, your kind of like people who come, like in the armor, mm. we call them. Uh, you make sure that everything is clean and everything is okay. That you handle the gun correctly, you shoot correctly. And then again, you know, it could be different from shooting like a gangster to shooting like a policeman. Yes. How to handle the gun properly and where to point it. Uh, the, like the danger zones. You, know, yes. you can't shoot a blank when someone is like little, maybe five meters away from you. They have to be far away or things like that. Okay. So uh, there was a lot of uh, training when it gets to all that, you know. And more especially for safety purposes and all those kind of things. Mm. We had people there who make sure that things go a decent way. Mm. Yeah. The major plot in the film uh, revolves around a Chinese tri triad gangster yeah. getting murdered. But there's a major subplot running through the entire film about the state of our country, mm. the, um, the people who are involved in the struggle compared to the people who are coming up now. Um, Dion Lotz's character has a, has a line saying that he fears the day when the government decides there are too many white faces in his position, he loses his job. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? What do you feel? Well, that is the, that's the unfortunately, it's the reality of our world that we live in. Mm. And, and those are the things that are, uh, are a threat, again, to people. You know, um, so, but the idea is now how do we work them out mm. as a nation? Let's bring them out, let's talk about them instead of hiding them and hiding behind. Yes. And, and until you develop evil ideas, mm -hmm. if you put them on the table and you say, hey, this is your fears, this is my fears, how do you sit down and sort this whole thing out? Is that what you're hoping this one's going to accomplish? Yeah. Just create a dialogue. Exactly what it is. Mm. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Bye. Thanks so much. Thank you.